I'm not a big fan of injecting rooms, irrespective of what the footage shows. Um, I know in Sydney we have one as well. They've been seen by the advocates for a number of years as uh, making the illicit safer than it would otherwise be. Um, look, there might be some evidence that's the case, but I'm also sensing that it sends the wrong message. I think we've got to be... Look, we, let me put it this way, Peter. We always talk about the war on drugs and how the war on drugs has failed. I would argue we've never really fought the war on drugs convincingly at all. And, 100%, Michael. 100%. And, and, and so, therefore, how can we determine whether it's failed or not? Um, and look what we're now doing with vaping. Uh, you know, on the one hand, we're saying, oh, look, these drugs are addictive. We've got to make sure people can have them safely and all this sort of stuff. And there's a big push to legalise all of what is now illicit. At the same time, we're marching toward making illegal what is already legal in the drug space, certainly with vaping and nicotine over time, that'll become, you know, contraband. So there seems to be mixed messages, pulling left and pulling right. Uh, it, it's confusing. And I think we need to just land on one position here and really try to prosecute the case either way. But, but also the thing, Peter, is whether you're for or against injecting rooms, and I agree with a lot of what you've both said there, the, the location is completely inappropriate Indeed. here. I mean... Mm. It, even if the advocates can successfully argue that they're minimising the harm to drug addicts, what about the kids that are at risk at the school? I mean, one father described how a knife-wielding man came onto the school grounds. It's just not safe for kids to be exposed to this constantly. And I note that the Greens want it expanded so that children under the age of 18 can use this facility and pregnant right, women. Caroline. It's ridiculous. I tell you what, if you, if, you, if, if you put as much money into this centre and then put that same money into getting people off drugs, I probably have a different view. But there's no rehab beds, there's no great push to get people off. You can see there with the nurse, there's a, there's a push to help them find the vein, but there's not a, a move to get them away from the scourge of drugs. I, that, that's the great tragedy of what we can see there. And I have to say to the health lobby, put it inside a hospital. If you think it's so good, and you think it's a health issue, not a crime issue, put it inside a hospital. And that's when they, uh, the support evaporates.